soon as I could, I told Captain Smollett all I'd heard. We held counsel with Squire Trelawney and the Doctor. Well, what do you make of it, Captain? We must prepare to fight for our lives. I suggest we send the crew ashore. Unbeknown to the Captain, I went ashore to see how the land lay. A strange figure was following me. Finally, he came towards me and threw himself at my feet. Who are you? Poor Ben Gunn I am. Marooned I was and lived on berries and oysters and goats ever since. You mightn't happen to have a piece of cheese about you now. There's buckets and buckets of silver sand from all the seven seas. And hundreds of perishing coconuts, but never a sign of cheese. There's herbs and flowers and shrubs and things to scent the salty breeze. And thousands of perishing coconuts, but never a smell of cheese. I dream of cheddar and Wensleydale and camembert and brie. Then I wake up and it's coconuts as far as the eye can see. There's blooming great dollops of ambergris and four cascara trees. And I'm up to me eyes in coconuts, but never a crumb of cheese. Please, please, on me bended knee, give me your, send me your, steal me your, lend me the tiniest, 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 tiniest morsel of cheese. Listen, musket fire from the stockade. You'd best get there with your friends. By the time I reached the stockade, the attacking mutineers had been driven off, leaving five of their dead behind them. No sooner had I told of my adventures than Silver came to parley with us under a white flag of truce. Now, Captain Smollett, here's my terms. You give us the chart to get the treasure, and we'll offer you a choice. Either you come aboard along of us once the treasure's been shipped, or you can stay here, and then I speak to the first ship I sight and send him here to pick you up. Is that all? Refuse that and you've seen the last of me but musket balls. Now then, you'll hear me. You can't find the treasure and you can't fight us while we hold the stockade. You're on a lee shore, Master Silver. <laughs> Before an hour's out, I'll stove in your blockhouse like a rum punch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, laugh, boy thunder, laugh. Before an hour's out, you'll laugh on the other side. Them that die will be the lucky ones. The mutineers attacked within the hour, but we threw them back with heavy losses. Now neither side were able to move, so I determined to break the deadlock. I grabbed some pistols, crept out of the stockade under cover of dark, and with Ben Gunn's homemade boat, stole aboard the Hispaniola. I cut her adrift and beached her in a hidden cove where she'd be safe from the crew. Pleased with the success of my adventure, I returned to the stockade. Hoping to awaken nobody, I gently pushed open the door. So, here's Jim Morkin. <laughs> we always wanted him to join us, didn't we, Captain Flint? And now, my lad, you've got to. Where's Captain Smollett and the Squire? Oh, they've deserted us, Jim. We bargain, them and I, stores and brandy and food for them, and for me, the chart. I don't believe it. Now, look you here, Jim. You're within half a plank of death and what's a long sight worse of torture. See that group over yonder in the glimmer of the fire? That's the crew. They're going to do me in, but you, Mark, I stand by you, Jim, through thick and thin. You're my last card, Jim. <laughs> and by the living thunder, I'm yours. I don't understand. Shh, do it, Jim. Here they come. Well, step up, lads. I won't eat you. Hand it over, lovers. I know the rules. I won't hurt a deputation. There it is, Silver. The black spot. I thought so. But where might you have got the paper? Why, glory be, look here now. You've gone and cut this out of a Bible. You'll all swing now, I reckon. Lay that talk, Silver. This crew has tipped you the black spot in full council. I'm still your captain till you outs with your grievances. One by one, the crew spoke of their grievances. And one by one, Silver answered them. And to press home his arguments, 
cast upon the floor a paper that I instantly recognized. None other than the chart. There it is, my hearties. Tomorrow it's the treasure for us, and Jim's coming along of us for hostage. As soon as it was light, we set out for the treasure. But when we reached the place marked on the chart, it was plain someone had been there before us. The treasure was gone, all save two guinea pieces. Jim, take these pistols. When it sinks into their thick skulls that the treasure's gone, there'll be trouble. Two guineas? That's your treasure, is it, silver? Dig away, boys. <laughs> You'll find some pig nuts, I shouldn't wonder. Mate, there's two of them alone there. One's the cripple, one's the young cub I mean to have the heart out of. No, mate! You got one, Silver! Aye, but what about the rest? One charge and you and me's done for, Jim. Fire away, boy! Well done, Jim! Now it's cutlasses. Here, take this one! What's that? It, it came from the woods. It's the captain. That's made him run. Forward! Head him off from the boats! Thank you kindly, Squire, and thank you, Dr. Livesey. You came about in the nick of time, I guess, for me and Hawkins. I'll do, Mr. Silver. Ben Dunn. <laughs> well, you're a nice one, to be sure. Didn't think to see me again, I'll be bound, but I fooled you. I found the treasure and hid it, I did. Aye, and so you see, when we heard what Ben Gunn told us, we were quite prepared to hand over the chart in return for our lives and some food and drink. Ah, it was fortunate for me that I had Hawkins here. But thanks to Jim, here I am, Captain Spollett. Come back to do me duty. Ere long, we were back in England once more. As for Long John Silver, he slipped away whilst we were in Spanish America, taking three or four hundred guineas to help him on his wanderings. Oxen and ropes wouldn't drag me back to Treasure Island, and the worst dreams I ever have are when I hear the surf booming about its coast, the buccaneers singing, and the shrill voice of Captain Flint ringing in my ears. Fifteen men on a dead man's chest, you ho ho, and a bottle of rum. Drink and the devil have done for the rest, you ho ho.